Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're gonna be unboxing some bird toys for my African gray parrot, Phoenix. Um, I have recently been purchasing from Bonka Birds, which is an online site that has mostly parrot related stuff, but they do have some dog and cat and small animal products as well, but it is mostly bird toys and cages and paraphernalia. Here, do you want a pistachio? Um, so <laughs> I went a little ham, you guys, this is a pretty big box, but I like to stock up on toys for him. That way, like whenever I do a deep clean of his cage or whenever his cage starts looking a little boring or he destroys his toys, he has new ones available. So he doesn't get these all at once. And I do rotate his toys until they are you know, be pretty much destroyed. He also, you know, he has preferences just like any one of us. He has certain things he likes, certain things he doesn't like. So with that in mind, I got him all of this. Look at, look at that. Look at all that. Amazing. Oh. I'm gonna put it on the ground here just so uh, Phoenix, this is a little a little bit he's just he's just a little bit nervous all right so one of the first things I got him was a pinata and it's funny because his previous owner told me that he doesn't play with toys and that the only thing that he seemed ever interested in was pinatas but he never really played with them and let me tell you something he loves pinatas the thing is they have to have a reason to want to rip it up some birds just prefer ripping things up but he has to be like enticed so he gets pistachios as a treat and i put holes in the pinatas and i put the pistachios inside them so that makes it more interesting for him all right I'm not gonna go into great detail with all the toys. I just wanted to show you them just because um, I wanted to show you the variety that this company offers. And I do believe that they are mostly handmade. So the ones that are from the actual company are handmade. They do also offer other company toys as well. They do also offer some other brands other than their own. But like this is clearly, I think this was handmade. And if you have a parrot, you can obviously make your own toys. I'm just really lazy and I prefer to buy them already made. And I really liked this one because it has these little cups and you can put like little treats in there and stuff. So that was neat. I thought this was pretty cool looking as well. And you can also stuff treats inside of here for him to rip out. It's, <clears throat> it's not an option to have toys for your bird. It's a necessity, honestly, because when they're bored, when they're in their cage and, or they have nothing to do, these offer them some mental stimulation. And I think mental stimulation is important for just about every animal on this planet that has, you know, a higher, a higher IQ, you know, so your dog, your cat, your birds, rabbits. I mean, they all should be somewhat stimulated. I got a, another pinata. This one's a different, a di somewhat of a different shape. He's never seen this shape before. Um, with most parrots, you cannot just give them a toy. They'll freak out. Like, look at him. He's very suspicious. He's like, don't put that in my face. Um, so what I do is a couple days before I put it in his cage, I put it somewhere where he can see it from his cage so he knows it's not going to eat him. But I got 10% off my total order because they were having a sale that day when I ordered it, which honestly, he's had this toy before and he absolutely loved it, but it is like, it has seen some stuff. It has seen better days. So I decided to replace it. But usually I do try to give him new things. He really likes leather. He loves to chew on leather. He likes to take the knots out. You really need to know your bird. Some birds, especially the big ones, like the macaws and the cockatoos and stuff, they really like um, chewing on wood he doesn't like chewing on wood at all. So there's absolutely no reason to buy him wood toys. So here is a ball of just shreddedness, shredded goodness inside some seagrass. I'm gonna leave it in the, in the, in here so it doesn't make a mess. He has his own, where are you going? He has his own 
toy kind of filing cabinet. So these are all going to have to go in there. <laughs> That'll be fun. Here's another, uh, wow, this thing's huge. Here's another shred shreddable toy. It's just a bunch of shredded paper that's inside a ball made out of seagrass. All the components are like bird safe, which is nice. It takes kind of the, the work out of doing it yourself, in my case anyways. I can I know that I can trust all the materials that are made in here and also I don't have to do it so it's just sitting there and then whenever it's time I give him what he wants what is this what is this what is this okay so this is definitely not for the bird and I didn't order this what is this this says for decorative use only, not for children under three. And this is definitely gonna be a choking hazard for the bird. I guess it's just like for me, I don't know. And this looks like a toy for like, you know, like you like stick it on the wall and it like climbs down. Like, I don't wanna do it cause my cat will like run over and take it, but random. Okay, great. I don't mind it when they send me random stuff as like a thank you, but like, what is the meaning? John, you have some explaining to do. The owner of the company's name is John. I only know that because it says on the website. Um, but like, what? Okay, the next toy I really liked because it has cups and it has kind of an interactive feature. So you can, if you were really good and you were like really, really wanting to train your bird, you could teach them their colors. I don't know that I'll ever do that because I'm just, hey, no scratching my chair. I don't know that like I am that good of a trainer to teach him his colors or that he's that smart. Like African greys are smart, but I think he might be like the dumb one in the flock. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that he's stupid, but I've seen African greys pick up things a lot quicker. Or maybe it's trainer error, I don't know. But birds are like emotionally like a toddler. So, you know, if he doesn't wanna play, he's not gonna play. If he doesn't wanna learn, he's not gonna learn. Anyways, got this toy, love the leather, love the different colored cups that you can put different treats in. And I'm sure he's gonna destroy this because he loves chewing on plastic. No worries though, he doesn't swallow. He doesn't swallow plastic. That sounded wrong. Um, we got this really cool toy. It's got lots of like hard pieces and it's just different. It has a different look to it. And I like to offer him different things. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even know this had wood pieces on it. I know that he loves this material because he's had these before. But when I was, when I was buying this stuff, I didn't realize that it had like little pieces of like colored wood and leather. So that's pretty cool. It's different. I also like that the toys always have like um, the hardware. So I don't have to worry about going and buying it. Cause that can be a pain. If you don't have the right hardware, like, and you want it there, there and then it's just like a pain in my butt. Oh my God. This is huge. Phoenix. Look at this. It's like 10 times bigger than you. This might take him a little while to get used to, but this is a, another one of those toys that he loves to shred these. At night, when we put him away for like bedtime and stuff, we might stay up a little bit longer and watch TV, my husband and myself. And what he'll do if he's not ready for bed is he'll just sit there and he'll chew on this. He doesn't really, I never catch him playing with his toys like when I'm not around. He only seems to do it when I'm around. Um, I don't know what he does like when I'm not home. I should like tape him or something just to see. He probably just sits on his swing and like verbally abuses everybody in the house. I don't know. And then the last toy is just like a slightly smaller version of that. I know it tells you on the website how big they are, but like I cannot visualize it until I see it in real life. And these things are huge. So yay. So we've got lots of toys. It's so exciting. I know that Phoenix doesn't look very excited right now. He's not in a good mood. He tried to bite me when I when I <laughs> took him out of his cage today. Um, I don't know why. What did I do to you, honey? 
But anyways, that's it for the Bonka Bird haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like the company. This is like my fourth, maybe my fourth or fifth um, trying this company out. And I was really worried that we were going to run out of toys because I like to offer him different things other than the, the classics. Like the pinata, I know that he knows what this is and he likes it. But I do try to offer him different textures, different colors, different, you know, this and that. And I was really worried with Bonka Birds that we were, we already purchased everything that they offer. But I was pleasantly surprised when I went on. I actually just ordered this a couple days ago and it's already here, which is crazy. I'm in Pennsylvania. They're in Florida. They were not messing around. They sent it immediately, which is really nice. Um, but it's just, it's nice to know. <clears throat> Where was I going with that train of thought? I don't remember. Um, it's nice to know that they had variety still, like since the last time I ordered. So that was really nice. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Titus! You gonna call Titus? Titus! <laughs> Come on, Titus! <whistles> Call him. Where is he? Titus! Hey, there he is. Hey, good boy, huh?